everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first look here on Shamrock Valley for Farming Simulator 17. This is a new upcoming map by Auction David. He's the genius that's brought us the likes of Chellington Farm, Sandy Bay, Thornton Farm and Oakfield Farm. He's also part of Frontier Design which is with Bullet Bill. So really really expecting great stuff from this map and I have had a quick look around the yard previously to uh, this uh, recording this video and it is a fantastic looking map so far. So today we're going to explore every so we're going to go ahead and explore the rest of it together. So once again thank you to uh Letting us have a look around this if you're watching Auction David. So we start off in this house, as you can see, completely built for the ground up for this farm. So if we go over to the window, we have a fantastic view of Shamrock Valley looking at this window. Now, a new feature that we've not seen before is the window's actually open. Look at that. Of course, we have lights and stuff inside the house as well um, for different rooms. We go ahead and take a look around. We're not going to do too much of a tour of the house because the house is pretty big. And this is a tour of the map, not just the house. Nice little study here. We've got this door. Um, there's the front door there. Through here, we've got the dining area and kitchen. Once again, all furniture. It's really good cool if you want to do role play. Another dining room here. Um, let's just go through here. I keep walking a little bit too quick and getting stuck. There's the Hoover cupboard there, or under the stairs. Right up here, we've got another office. We've got a bedroom there. We've got the bathroom there. A bedroom here as well with... Is this the same bathroom or a different bathroom? This is a different bathroom. This is an ensuite bathroom with uh, a gold nugget. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, so let's go ahead and head out of here. So once again, I'm not giving you an in-depth tour of the house. There's another room here. What's this? Um, another bedroom. Spare bedroom. with that? Actually, I saw this a minute ago as well. Look at it. A uh, farmer's... Oh, no, not farmer's week. Sorry, a tractor magazine. There we go. With a Ford on the front. So once again, I'm not going to show you too much of the house because that's for you guys to enjoy yourselves when you get the map when it's released. Let's go ahead and head out the front door. Look at that beautiful, beautiful view there. I've actually got the blur turned on. Let's turn that off. There we go. That's part of um, reshade. Don't worry about that. So as we head along the yard, we're going to head and head out this gate. And this is our main yard. So we've got the grain silos there, as you can see. And here's the grain dump and also the grain fill. So if you want to use the dump, you can. Of course, you can also... Um, use one of the sheds provided like this one here for example so you could use this for machinery or if you wanted to you could probably put grain in here very big shed once uh, again we've got a door in the middle there if you want to go ahead and use that there is a light around here somewhere and I've appeared to have lost it here it is so there we go well, there's the lights for the uh, the shed or the grain store whatever you want to use that for so moving along we have the cow area so this main yard is also the cow so actually we're going to head over here we have a huge silage clamp here so lots and lots of silage work for you guys to do once again this is based in ireland so we jump over the fence here we've got the outside feeding trough for the cows now if i go up and fly pretty big cow pasture there for the cows so there's no shortage just go on times three so we can run a little bit faster here this is possibly a straw cell point, uh, straw feeding point, sorry. And uh, once again, we've got the actual cow shed here with the manure that spawns inside so you can muck out the cows. And we've also got the inside feeding trough here so you can drive your mixer wagon through this gate here and then feed your cows. Really looking forward to doing some cow work on this farm. Sorry if I'm moving a little bit too fast, there's a lot to see. So if we move along here, this is the workshop, I believe. We'll get this open. There we go, the workshop. Very detailed like we're used to on Auction David maps. Um, we can go ahead and do that to go ahead and start working on our vehicles, etc. Bit of starting machinery here. We've got... There's a wheel coming through the wheel, uh, the wall there. We've got a header and header trailer. We've got a dumper trailer. We've got the Great Plains seed drill. And we've got the wrong baler as well. Now, bear in mind, some of this equipment may change at the time of release. We have actually got two mowers on this map. Uh, two rear mowers. Um, here is the slurry pit for the cow slurry. Some nice little detail around here. I believe this possibly is a straw cell point, judging by the little mounts that we got on the corners here. Don't quote me on that. We'll have to have a look and play around with that later on. Let's run down here. We'll go back on times three. We'll take a look at the rest of the map. So we've got... Um, this is either fuel or fertilizer here. That's looking like fuel. That's looking like fertilizer. So it could be anything. We'll have to find out. Um, we'll have to get to the other side of the yard. As we go this way, we've got some starting machinery. So here's the seed fill point. We start off with a New Holland 8340 as well. Um, actually, there's the fertilizer tank. So there we go. That answers that question. We've got the combine there. And we open this shed here. We've got some more stuff in here. So we've got the mower that I was telling you guys about. We've got two weights. 
a four furrow plow, which is always nice. It's the turnable one as well, the reversible one. And once again, just some more machinery storage in here. I'm probably going to keep the harvester in here, if I'm being honest, if I use Seasons Mod, because we only need it one season a year. And then back into the, the cow pasture, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do is head over to the pickup truck, if I can remember where it was. Here it is. So once again, only a brief look at the yard there. Okay, change plan. We're not going to go that way. I've actually found out where the real gate is. We're going to go ahead up this way. So once again, this is all I've seen. So what I'm about to show you now is stuff that I've not seen before. I literally had a look around the yard and that was it. So let's head out of here. And I'm going to show you across the road real quick. So let's wait for this truck to go. And then we'll head down that way. So as you can see here, we have a sign that we actually have to buy this before we can use it. So there we go. Construction site, place bills, etc. You buy that for 100,000 euros. I got this set on because of course we're in Ireland. I'm going to head up here and I'll show you that. Once again, it's just an area for your place bills. But it's really nice that he's given us this so we can have different sheds. So you can basically expand the yard if you wanted to, which is really cool. Of course, you can have your greenhouses and stuff. Um, so let's head this way and we'll see what else the map has to offer. So let's quickly look at the PDA. Actually, I haven't shown you that just yet. So if you look on the PDA, we've got a little dirt path here that takes us to field number one. And there's a little yard there. We'll see what that is in a second. So this just goes around into field one. I'm not going to show you every single field. Once again, I like to let you guys experience some stuff for yourselves when the map is released. Um, so I will show you the key bits, but not every single field or nothing cranny on the map. Ooh, bit of off-roading there. Alright, so we head down from the yard. We have... What's this called? Gypsy Hill Stores. And let's take a look around here. I'm actually going to walk around. So it looks like we got a fuel point in there. Um, diesel fuel. That's obviously where you can fill up your tractors, maybe. We've got a nice scanner truck there with some seeds. Um... What else is in here? We've got fertilizer there as well. Could be water. It says H2O. Auction David usually makes these water. So I'm going to assume actually this is a water tank. And it does say H2O. Oh yeah, it will be because this is the fertilizer. That answers that question. Um, and also the sell point here. So that's a pretty close one. So if you're a bit lazy like me, you could use that to sell your grain. And it's nice and close to the yard. You can get back to work as quick as possible. So there's the first sell point there. So once again, Gypsy Hill Stores. Let's do a little U-turn here so we can go straight forward or we can head right. I think we're going to head right. What's down here? This is actually the machinery store here and we are greeted by a John Deere 6R, as you can see there. Pretty nice bit of scenery there and also a cultivator. So here we go. This is the, the store. So where are the icons and stuff? Excuse the drop in frames. That is my computer. Uh, we can, can we go inside the store? We can. The door opens. I need to hold it a little bit quicker. So you actually go into the store to uh, to buy your machines. For example, we've got £25,000, so we can't really buy anything. Well, we can rent stuff. Let's go ahead and rent the Zettel real quick, just to see where it spawns. And then we go out the back. Can you open this gate? No, you can't. So you head back out the way you come, the way you came in, sorry. Um, Where does it spawn? There's a tractor in the bin. There's actually a tractor in the bin. Fire damage. I'm honestly surprised he didn't put a John Deere in there. I'm joking. Right. Ah, uh, here we go. So this is where the vehicles, when you buy them, spawn right outside the front here. So they're nice and close to the road. Um, I think that's all to see in here, to be fair. I'm looking for, actually, the where you sell your vehicles. Right, because I believe I found it. I didn't actually know where I was going, but I used F5 mode. And there's actually a trigger by this door. So what we're going to do is, if my hunch is correct, it is lifting up, which is a good sign. And there we have it. There is our workshop and sell point. So yeah, a little bit discreet that one. So if you are looking for it when you get the map, here it is. Um, luckily, I went into F5 mode to see that. And then all you do is obviously drive. I love the sound of this tractor. Obviously, you drive your machinery in and uh, sell them. Return in my case. All right, so as we continue on, I'm actually going to go through the store because I did see a nice little dirt path heading out of here. Just across this nice little scenic bridge. And once again, this is just past the store. It looks like we're in uh, some... That looks like a stable. Nice little uh, stable um, trailer there. Not stable trailer. We've got a horse trailer. Uh, we've got an egg cell point there just around the back. Look at these houses. People are doing alright for themselves. Okay, so we're actually going to go left. Up the top of there is just some fields. Like I said, I'm not going to show you every single field because that takes some of the, uh, the fun out of it for you guys. But we've got Limerick up there and we've got Donegal down this way. Um... 
So let's head this way. Use that bus stop's nice little uh, way to get around if you've got big machinery. And right, so we'll head down, and we need to be careful because as you can see, it's pretty steep. Look at the scenic views we've got here. Really, really nice. And um, we're actually going to. Should we go down or should we go up this dirt path to see where that goes? Let's have a look at the map real quick. So we are there. So off to our right goes up to field number three and field number four. So the forest is also. No, the forest isn't that way, I don't think. We'll find out. We're going to explore that later on. We're going to stick to the road for now. Um, in fact, there's another entrance to the field here. So we're going to follow the signs once again towards the Donegal. So that road there is where we could have turned left earlier on when we went towards the store. Now you link up anyway. Once again, the shade is loading in there, so excuse that. Is that a road there as well? There is a road there. So there's a little road going from or well, past field 18 to field 20. It's basically a shortcut so you can get to other yards. And once again, we're going to stick to the main road. Um, there's a grass field entrance there, but there's also... Uh, that's on the other side of the river. There's another cell point down there, which we'll get to in a minute. Once again, the shade is loading in. I should have flown around before, so excuse the frame drops. Um, that only happens the first time you ever load into the map. Once again, nice little scenic uh, river down below us. Some more houses here. Nice little small... F oh, I just crashed. Ignore that. Um, nice little small field there. Should we go left or right? Let's go straight. Let's go forward for now, and then we'll come back to here, and then we'll head up there towards the pig farm. By the look at that, so we've got this little roundabout here, and I believe the animal market is around here as well. So how do we get in to that? Look at this for a sell point. So you head off the main road here into Balamori Stores. This is actually BGA, according to the sign. So we've got a fuel point there. We've got some slurry there that we produce by the uh, the silage. We've got these scales there. We've got two medium-sized silage clamps here. Um, let's head down this way. We've got some fertilizer by triggers there as well. Once again, we've got some seeds in there. We'll look a bit, and also water. Egg cell point down here as well. Oh, look at this dock. This is really nice. Now, thanks to Rainbow Dave. Ooh, careful. <laughs> thanks to Rainbow Dave. He's told me we can walk around some of these boats. So let's go ahead and have a look at that so it's not that tug i don't believe i think it's the actual that one there the big container ship um but i want to check out this narrow book this narrow book is actually moving around you can see it's animated sound you guys might not be able to hear it on the video but it's got pretty nice engine sound as well um so here we go nice little narrow boat so apparently we can get onto here not sure how you'd actually get up onto there without cheating but let's give it a go N wow Okay, so we're on the other side of the dock right now. Well, that's where we were a second ago. So we turn around here. Here is the grain sell point. So very course play friendly as well. If you want to send out your hired workers to sell the grain for you whilst you're harvesting. If you're someone who uses course play quite a lot. And in here, this is Paddy Fields Livestock Market. So we're going to go ahead in here. Uh, where is the trigger? So the trigger looks like it's right there. So obviously we're in a pickup truck. But if you had your cattle trailer, you'd reverse it into here. And then... You'd buy the animals like this. Um, your standard three, of course. Um, animated as well down here, which is nice. Sometimes you just get static models, but I like to see them moving around the animal market, which we luckily have here. All right, so moving on. There's actually a bird there, so let me show you that. There it is, seagulls. It wouldn't be the countryside without seagulls. The seaside, sorry, not countryside. Okay, so there is a log cell point there. Not sure what this is. This could be planks. I'll have to look into that. Once again, I won't know until um, I get to play it properly. But here is the log. Could be actually a log cell point. This might be a. I have no idea what this is. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I believe it's planks, but don't quote me on that just yet. Um, lo normal logs there, and the wood chips go into the ground here, as you can see. Nice bit of overspill there. It looks like the trailer's overloaded too far. Once again, nice bit of um, attention to detail with. The massive, massive viaduct right above our heads as well. So that's towering over the sawmill, which looks really good. All right, so as we continue back out, we're just leaving the sawmill now. We're going to make a right turn up here, head towards the uh, the smaller fields that we saw on the PDA a second ago, and also the forest. I'm really interested to see what the forest looks like. There's a grass field there for us. Another grass field there. Once again, this is Irish-based, so it's mainly dairy. But of course, in FS17, you can make your own uh, your own fields. Look at that. Nice little abandoned church there, or building, whatever that is, a uh, house. Uh, we've got some sugar beets in there. Quite a small sugar beet farm. Uh, field side, that's 
my sort of sugar beet field. A field waiting to go just there. That goes down towards the castle, so let's head down towards the castle. Now, apparently this is a real castle. Um, so we're going to have to take a look at this. We'll park up the pickup trucks. Let's see what this is called. This has a different name in every single map. Uh, David's Tasty Burgers. I think that was the same as uh, Oakfield. It's amazing how detailed this map is and how quickly it's uh, been made as well. So once again, you can go over to the church if you want. And here's the name of the church. Dunluce Castle? I probably said that completely wrong. But there we go. There's the picture of the, the real one. Dunluce? I'm probably saying it's completely wrong. I'm just going to stop attempting now. But there we go. You can go ahead and Google pictures of that if you want. There you go. There's the name. You can Google that. Um, there's a real picture of it once again. He's even gone as far as um, getting the little path going underneath, which is really cool. Um, so there we go. Uh, with the Irish flag above there as well. Now, apparently that flag is being moved. I'm not sure where. We'll have to wait and find out. So on the version you guys get, that flag will not be there. And um, I think he's moving it somewhere a bit more visible. But once again, don't quote me on that. This is just what's been passed on to me by Landy Gideon Rainbow Dave. Right, well, so we head out of here. We're going to head up towards the forest finally and see what's up here. Very nice country roads up here. Okay, so we're in the forest area. So we have a road going through the middle of it. But then we can turn off to the right or left and start our forestry. And it actually has a block down here. So we're going to do some off-roading to see if we can get through here in one piece. We're going to crash, aren't we? No, nope, we're through. Good. Okay, so once again, you can do it on the other side as well. So this road up here, once you go past the forest, goes back up to field three, which is where we started, uh, up near the main town or main yard sort of area. So what we're going to do is head back to there, and then we'll head back down towards the field number five area. Ooh, went too fast. Right, here we so we are on that little shortcut road that we saw earlier that goes past field 20. So we're going to join back up, actually there's a little dirt road there as well, to get us to two fields and also in between these two roads. Um, so where does this actually take us? So this takes us down to field 38 and then we want to get a left here. So we can uh, take a look at the pig farm. Actually there's something here that we've completely missed. This was actually hidden. Um, so let's have a look at this. What's this one called? This one is called... Malone's Farm Shop, opening hours 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I wonder if this has the automatic closing gate. So some maps I've seen, but when it's not between those times, this gate will actually lock and you cannot get into here. So we've got some seeds once again, I believe, and um, fertilizer there as well. Um, what's this? Let's get this open. Is this another, is this another seed cell point? I think it's just another seed cell point. So you actually have to lift that up to sell your seeds, I believe, and also manure cell point here, so you can sell the manure if you have too much of it, although I always seem to be very scarce for manure when I'm uh, playing stuff. Um, we go into these tomato greenhouses as well. I don't believe they serve any purpose, but there's nice decoration. And also, once again, we could buy some fertilizer from here as well. I do like having these viable fertilizer and seed things everywhere. So it saves you going all the way back to the yard you can just drive to here and fill up your drills and stuff if you're not using big bags or whatever. Um, so what we want to do is do a little U-turn here. And we'll head up towards the pig farm, which I believe I can see just off to my right there. Okay, so as we approach this beautiful, beautiful landscape here, we're going to park up next to our neighbour here. So we have... A nice little row going towards the fields up there. Here's our neighbor's house. We want to cross this row without getting killed. So, in this yard, this is uh, very old, this yard. You can tell it's a lot older than the yard we start off with. We've got our chickens here, so I'm assuming the eggs will spawn somewhere around here. Once again, don't quote me on that just yet. We'll head through this little doorway here. Um, once again, grass fields with a horse running around. Or a pony, sorry, that is. Let's have a look at it. That's definitely a donkey, not a horse or a pony. That looks like a donkey to me. So we have a donkey. Oh my days, are you okay? Definitely a donkey. <laughs> Sounds ill. Okay, so in here we have what looks like a manure clamp, but it's actually silage. You can see there on the F1 menu, fill level zero, compacting zero. So nice little tiny silage clamp there if you want to do it on a much smaller scale. Nice little Massey Ferguson drop nose waiting for us down here. And also a mower. So that's why you have two mowers. Uh, one at this farm, one at the other farm. So here is the actual pig coop. So we've got the feeding trough there. 
Um, here is the actual trigger to unload our pigs. And here's the little uh, enclosure, if you will. Uh, just over here, once again, we've got fee, uh, seeds, uh, fertilizer, and H2O there as well with another manure pit here. A uh, slurry pit's here, sorry. Go ahead and lift that door up because normally I'll reverse into that later on. Nice little uh, on yard feel here as well. So you can be nice and close to the yard if you want to produce corn or something for the pigs. Um, here is the grain dump point for this farm here. Well, I'm not sure this, this one doesn't open, but there we go. This is where you'd store your grain for this farm. And um, we've got a door here, so let's check out what's behind here. Just some storage for your machines and stuff if you want in there. I'll probably keep my uh, pig feed and stuff in there, so like the water bowser and stuff. Um, this yard's very tight. I like it a lot. And then we've got the actual inner workings of the uh, grain dump. So you dump it there and you load it up here. As you can see, the little red thing in is indicating that. So you park underneath this pipe and there uh, you can unload up your grain that way. Should also mention this one is called Scatterbrook Farm. There we go. Nice little cartoon image of that as well. So, um,. I do really, really like this yard. There's something about this yard that appeals to me. I'm not exactly sure what, but I think I'm going to be spending quite a lot of time down this yard, especially since I want us to get into pigs more. That's something, something I've not really done in FS17 that much is pigs. Right, let's jump back into our pickup truck, and we'll see where the road takes us. Where does it take us? So I just want to stop here real quick. I love attention to detail like this. It's only a little bridge that takes us into a field, which um, some of you guys may say is a little bit boring, seeing why you stopped the show this, but it's just the sort of stuff I look for in a map. Love attention to detail like this. Interesting ways to get into a field, basically. Whoa, I just crashed! I was driving down the street. I know it doesn't have any, uh... It's not real, obviously, but I nearly hit a fox. That's definitely a fox. It's walking like a dog, but that's definitely a fox. Just casually walking around um, the farm here, and I had to swear to avoid it. For some reason, my brain thought it was real, even though you can't hit this. So, um, let's see where it goes real quick. So that's one thing I completely forgot about. There is a fox walking around uh, this map here. So, look at that for a scenic view. Beautiful, beautiful map. Um, is this a, a, one of ours or is this just for scenery? This is just for scenery there. Right, we'll head around here. Okay, so I just saw one thing that I do want to try out. This looks quite fun. So we're going to go down this road here. And we actually have to go through a river, as you can see here, so... That was just quite fun, something fun to do. Um, some campers here as well, so there we go. If you like doing roleplay stuff, you can cut the grass for these, uh... These campers here, this campsite there. Okay, so one thing I did forget to look at, we're gonna head back towards the shop area that we were earlier. Look at the scenery on this map, honestly. Unbelievable. Oxygen Jay just keeps getting better and better and better with his, uh... Scenery and stuff. We're going to head to the top of this hill, and we're going to check out where the, the sheep coop is, or sheep pen. Okay, so we're going to park in this Tesco petrol station. Um, it is a real petrol station, by the way. You can fill up, as you can see, next to the speedometer down there, there is a trigger or an indication saying we can do that. So we've got a Tesco petrol station here with an ATM here as well, if you're the sort of person that likes to do your stuff realistically and go to a bank or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to jump over this hedge here. And here is our sheep field. So we've got the water feeding trough there. This looks like the wall spawn point here. So that's where your wall pellets will obviously spawn. Looking for the feeding trough. Here's the food trough here. So you give them the grass in this trough. Here's the entrance to it, which is just on the corner next to Gypsy Hill stores where we passed earlier. So you'd come down here and you go into here. Um, so really, really nice. So I'm going to head down... Recovery, so we have come all the way back down now to Scatterbrook Farm. I love this yard, so I thought it would be a good place to end the video. Um, probably going to use this yard quite a lot once again. I think this is absolutely beautiful, this yard. Sort of the yards I'm into, old brickwork. You can tell it's old rustic. So thank you once again for joining me in this first look. Once again, all links to Auction David's uh, Facebook and YouTube channel will be in the description box below. If you did enjoy this video, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.